It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys, and it's all up next. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white line. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for that. Thank you for the notice. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. First play, and Hurts looking to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. But first down, Hurts, and that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 42. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that's complete downfield to Parker. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I are a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. 
Pickett. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tougher rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going for the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, they started the drive backed up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, ended up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Here's a diving catch right side. A good pick up there, 22. Hey, did you have one of those backyards that you had one of those like mats or pits like you have for high jumpers? And you know, you had your friends throw the ball and you tried to make the spectacular catches. I didn't need a mat. <laughs> you, you just did it with the ground? Absolutely. That explains your Concrete. toughness. Concrete. That <laughs> explains your toughness right there because I think that guy was raised just like you. What a catch. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second down and four. Play action now, Prescott. He finds his man, complete. It's Ferguson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 35. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Dowdle. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They out-leveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Dak's going to keep it. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as 
as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Dowdle. And he will take it in for the Cowboys score. Rico Dowdle taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The running play there going to get 11 as they get a quick first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Pick it a look to throw it here. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds down inside the 25. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to throw, pick it. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Burt sets up to throw it. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So a P.I. call going to cost him there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second and seven. Second and seven. 
Hurts. And he is going to be taken down. They got it. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Mozzie Smith in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles are able to move back in front. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. That time, a six-play drive. And it's capped off by a receiving touchdown from Saquon Barkley. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Prescott off play action. That is caught by Lynn. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. To throw is Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. First down, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Prescott now. This is caught. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks. As the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. 
So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. will get the football first here and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game Prescott now from the 50 a short one there taken in by Ferguson that'll go for a gain of seven and that'll bring up second down nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he can break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage from the 43 it's second and three they run here with Dowdle and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 to 36 seven yards there and a first down yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They got a nice little drive for him right here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Prescott. Able to hit 
his target land. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and two. Now Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. That might be one to remember, well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes it a 21 to 10 game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley gets around him. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. At halftime, he had to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They'd had this guy boxed in all game long, but after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Dances by him. He'll take this to the 46. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. Got exactly what they wanted there out of the RPO and had the defense out of position. One word for you there, excellent. Because he read all the keys properly, made the right decision, and look at the result. Pretty substantial gain. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Smith catches left side. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Two yards to go, second down. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football, here as we start the fourth quarter. Throwing his hurts. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all 
game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Yes, they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This now a third and four. Off the play fake, Prescott. And to find the open man, that's complete. A big play here for Dallas. And even 50 yards. What a call there on third down. Took conviction, didn't it? If this is incomplete, the complexion of this game changes dramatically. Instead, not only is this a first down, but it's a big play to boot. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try and run for it with Davis. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. A running play, it's down to And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Try to take this home, they'll run. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. They'll try and run for it. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Rico Delta, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try to roll the quarterback out, give them a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Hurts and the Eagles now, down by 15. 65 seconds remaining. They need two touchdowns and at least one two-point conversion mixed in there as well. But first down, Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. This is caught by Parker. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, defensively there, you want to play it a little safe and keep the action in front of you. But you definitely aren't looking to give up plays like that. They still got the cushion of a two-score lead, but don't give them a freebie here in the final minute. This is first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. This time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. They'll come up now on second down. They go play action with Hurts. This is Smith to the ground. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute.